Welcome back to Full Moon Flock and Stock. It has been a little while, um, but I wanted to start making some more videos and I actually just got done working in this pen over here. Um, we had to dig out the fence line here and then over there a couple of spots where the pigs pushed the round bells up. And in doing so, the pigs proved sometimes I shouldn't try new things. Um, so in our previous pens, we would use all aluminum wire. And I decided this year to try this wire rope or whatever it is. And as you can see from the phrase, it did not last. Um, so the pigs pushed on it and it broke some, broke in some spots and then I lost the entire thing. Um, there was two strands. One is buried. I'll get that out, uh, in the spring. So we just have one. Our pigs are generally pretty good. Um, but I decided to go through and I actually put some thicker gauge aluminum on there. Uh, and I re-ran everything, hooked it back up, and I guess I proved that I should not have tried something new. So I would not recommend it um, if you have it kind of in this application here. Um, these guys will push on it uh, with the round bales. That's why I'm trying to kind of bring more round bales over here uh, instead of on the edges because... Well, they like to push them around. Maybe if I can kind of come this way and throw it that way, uh, the next one might work better over here. But it just generally, um, if a pig can push on it again, up against uh, like a woven wire, they will. And they use that as like a backstop. Um, so, but these guys are doing really good here. And actually, I got to get them another bale in here uh probably tonight i'll do that but you can kind of see i don't know if you can hear the clicking everything's up and running again i got a pound ice in the uh water tub to open that up they've been eating snow um their water was flowing underneath there but some huge it's been cold here cold and snowy we, we just got done with another snowstorm so we'll get that taken care of and we got to move that girl right there i believe it is she's coming into the barn tomorrow night because she looks like she's getting really close to farrowing and we actually have a couple up here that are farrowing soon so we had to reorganize some things. We had these two that are getting ready to fare out here soon. So the plan is I'm actually going to go pick up a gate today. I'm going to clean this out. Throw some bedding in here, and I'll move three gilts out of there into here, two feeders out of there into that front pen, clean that pen out, and then that Burke large black will farrow in there. And we've been trying to clean up the barn here between moving and just getting in here this winter. It's not, not the way I like it. I got water to put back together. But things are coming along. Pigs are doing good. We might have some uh, big things coming for this coming year. But we'll let you guys know in the future about that. The outdoor pigs are doing great. They're loving it out there. That bigger pen is nice. I've been trying to get them to go back farther. That hasn't worked so well. But I've been trying to kind of move their feed slowly back that way. And uh, everything's going good. You should see some more videos popping up here. Um, but we're trying to really utilize this area better 
but they like to <laughs> stay in certain areas. But this is bigger than what they had before, so that's nice. And we got a sow to move over here from the other farm soon. And then a couple of gilts are probably going to go out here for breeding soon as well. So everything's doing well. We will be back in touch with you guys. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, like, like it, share it. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye now.